Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now before I actually do start today's video off, I'd just like to talk a little bit about um, Streamlabs. Now if you don't know already, Streamlabs is like an app or website um, that will actually allow you to multi-cross stream. This means that if you are trying to stream on YouTube, you can then stream on Twitch and Facebook and other apps at the same time, which means that your channel will grow a lot faster because more viewers are obviously going to see your, your stream. Now it's not all just about streaming either. Um, you also can make your thumbnails on it. You can also, there's a merch store on there. Where you can make your own merch and they deal with all the problems you literally just stream while they uh, print it off ship it and deal with customer support um, as long as you give them the ideas and the prints like what you want to do they'll do everything for you and there's a lot lot more so i highly recommend you actually do try and check this out um, especially if you are starting your own channel and trying to actually get um, known uh, now if you actually do use my uh, my link in the description down below you will be able to get 10 pound off a yearly subscription at the moment and a nine pound off a monthly subscription now, like I say, I do highly recommend you do check this out, especially if you are starting off on YouTube or Twitch or any other platform, because it will give you a massive boost and it will help you out quite a lot. Um, and like I say, my code will help you out a lot as well, or my link, um, by giving you that £10 off or £9 off. But now that's out of the way, let's just get straight into the video, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now before I actually do start today's video off, if you could actually go ahead and comment KHYT, um, I'll go ahead and heart your comment and obviously uh, reply to it. And from now I'm actually going to try and heart and reply to uh, the most comments. Um, but yeah, so for this actual Ragnarok mesh board, it's actually two methods. Today I'm actually going to be showing you the method that has the least requirements, which is just the teams. For this, what you are going to need is one griffin. Um, so these are the requirements what you do need to actually get through the border. Here's one griffin. And then you are going to need one um, Paris Ethereum, so a par with a platform saddle on, as you can see here in the gameplay. Uh, it definitely needs a platform saddle on, or it will not work. And then next up, what you are going to need is a, a cryopod. So obviously, cryopod the uh, platform saddled racer. So actually, throw it through the border, as you'll see in the gameplay um, in a minute. But yeah, so that's the requirements. What you need now. The other stuff that would help you out a lot is I'll actually show you. Go ahead and show you that now. So that's what you need to get through the border. But then if you have like a another another team, like another flyer, and also a tech suit. Obviously, if you have a tech suit, it's going to make it 10 times easier, um, and you won't need the second flyer. Um, but obviously, you can do it without the tech suit as well. And then next up, what you are going to want to have is your other flyer, um, to obviously fly around the map um, if you are trying to raid bases out there. And obviously, you're raiding loot and stuff like that. Or a Quetz over platform saddle to build a Quetz, a Quetz base out there if you're really wanting to do that. Um, but yes, and also you are going to need a cryopod to actually have that other team as well. So you will have to wait the cryopod timer out once you are through the border um, if you are going for this other method. Because uh, once you are through the border, there's no water anymore, so you have to like, uh, like fly around like in the air. So that's why you need like the other team or the tech suit or anything like that. Now uh, next up, what you are going to want to do is head over to the top of the border and to the side of the border. So as you can see, you can see the roof of the border here and the side of the border. Um, now, we actually did this at the coordinates 50, as uh, you'll see in the gameplay in a minute on the map. Uh, this is where we actually found the ledge. Um, it'll all make sense throughout the video. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here in the gameplay, this is the coordinates for where we actually did this. Um, now, the clips are a bit miss and match uh, because it does take quite a lot of testing to get this right. Um, but it still makes sense for the video. I'll still explain it all to help you guys out through um, the, rest of the gameplay. Uh, now, I don't know what happened to my griffin there. Uh, but yeah, what you are going to want to do is then hog the edge of the world border like this. So make sure your griffin head's actually sticking through the um, world border and casually make your way going down. Uh, while you are flying down, what you are going to want to do is press um, the button to land. So for Xbox, it's A. You want to spam A. Um, so when you do hit this invisible ledge, it'll obviously land on the ledge and um, then obviously stop on there. Uh, so that's why you need to spam A while you are going down. It might land, try and land on the border. It might glitch like that. Uh, so just be careful but as you can see here this is the clip where um, i landed on the edge just keep going down and spamming a and then eventually you will hit this invisible border um soon enough and you'll see you'll land uh now if you are spamming a what will happen is you will land and it will kick you off again because you are spamming a uh so once you do land um, if you do actually fly off by accident as you can see in the gameplay again fly up a tiny bit and then go down again spamming a and you should then land as you can see here uh, in the gameplay uh now if the if you do jump off the team and you get stuck in the griffin's body what you are going to want to do is move back a bit on the um, griffin and then what you should do when you jump off you will then be able to stand on the back of the griffin as you'll see in the gameplay now what you're going to do is jump off the griffin with a cryopodded racer and move to the um, bum of the uh, griffin and then look forward it, uh, towards the border 
and what you would do is throw the power racer through the border as you'll see in the gameplay here uh, this is just a little clip to show you that my tribe mate actually did manage to do this as well uh, as you can see at the left side of the screen uh, don't worry i'm going to be showing you just more in depth from my person uh, uh, from my point of view and um, but yeah, as you can see this is where he actually did this he's one of the founders of this as well the credits for him and the other founders in the description down below um so they're the founders of this method i do believe but as you can see what you are going to do is fly back on the griffin and get the power racer to follow you and then once you see the head stick through the border and the corner of the platform saddle uh, that's when you can obviously jump on it and ride it it's kind of awkward to obviously get on uh, so let's be careful with that and if your power racer does get stuck against the border and keeps walking in one direction don't worry um, if it is still whistled you'll stay in the same place and eventually it will turn around um, but as you can see what like i say just jump off the griffin move to the bum of the um, griffin get the power racer which cryopodded and throw it straight in front of you and uh, what will happen is the power racer will like, then go for the barrier or the border as you can see there once you've done this whistle follow jump on the griffin and fly backwards on the griffin as you can see in the gameplay until the power racer starts moving once you see it starts moving um, hold over and hover over to the whistle stop so it, it stops at the right time and once you see the head poke through the border and the corner of the platform saddle uh, whistle stop all and then it should stop in the right position now in order to actually ride this what you are going to do is get above the power racer um, or parasurfarium sorry and uh, jump on so you're at the corner of the saddle as you can see here and it should let you ride once you do ride you'll then glitch through the border and as you can see from here you are on the opposite side of the border uh, now from this bit you are on like an invisible ledge so obviously this is where you would throw out your other team uh, to obviously fly around the border but I'm going to be showing you now how to get past so what you are going to do is just walk in one direction uh, and then eventually you will then start falling that's when you are off the invisible ledge and then if you don't jump off and you, if you haven't got your flyer you'll just keep falling and falling and falling until you do hit a um, death barrier uh, so heads up on that what you are going to want to do is obviously be on your flyer and actually fly down here instead of jumping off um, but as you can see, like I say, once you are through the water, it's, it's classed as uh, not being water anymore, so it will just obviously fall straight down. Uh, now, as you can see, there's like this like barrier type thing in front of me. That's you can't go any lower than that. Cause lower than that is actually a kill barrier. And but once you are out here, you can obviously scout for ocean bases and obviously build your own um, platform set or quest base out here. You can't build ocean bases anymore though because obviously the um, ocean is no longer there and but previous ones will still be there. Also if you want to uh, know the base spots where you can build on here on unofficial um, join my discord the link for that's in the description down below and I'll actually send you the clips uh, for that but thank you for watching the click a like and subscribe.